Global Navigation Satellite Systems can deliver a user his latitude and longitude position on the Earth quickly and in real time. GNSS systems utilize satellites orbiting the Earth that broadcast signals using very precise frequencies and highly accurate atomic clocks for timing. Any receiver on the ground can pick up the GNSS broadcast as long as they are coded to read its signal. GNSS signals are around us at all times and are broadcast for free. As the GNSS signal travels through the atmosphere, the signals can become distorted, leading to a reduced positional accuracy delivered to the receiver. GNSS signals that are from satellites which are low on the horizon, or what is called a low zenith, are difficult to pick up and more likely to have error because they are traveling through more of the atmosphere to get to the receiver. GNSS uses groups of satellites or constellations for their systems. For a receiver to establish a position, it must be tracking four satellites or more. There are two operational GNSS today. One is the GPS system, which is the most commonly used GNSS system. Developed by the United States government, it became operational in 1995 and has 32 satellites in its constellation. The lesser known GLONASS system is the Russian-based system, which was restored to global operations in 2011, and it has 24 satellites in its constellation. Multiple GNSS can be used simultaneously by a receiver that can read both signals. This simultaneous use will deliver more satellite signals to the receivers at one time, giving it a higher positional accuracy. Additional GNSS systems will be coming online in the near future.